Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a medal at each one. Preferably gold, but sometimes that will not be possible. Last time around I think I did a Chef to Eaties and I'm going to do another one because I'm not quite halfway through Eaties so far and as it's got a long way to go I figure I should start knocking out some of the Eaties Chefs. Well, I say some. This is the last one that's currently available to me. So I should try and do it if I can. It has lasagna, chicken, meatloaf, chili, desserts in a glass, with sides of potatoes, or baked potatoes, french fries, and I think that's wild rice, with beer and soda as the drinks, 50% buzz, 8 serving stations. So it shouldn't be too horrific. I'm sure shift 16 when I get to it will be horrific, but this is only shift number 8. I would like to have a nice perfect day so I can get another gold medal, but we will see if that happens or not. So, first things first, prepare some sides. Because that way it buys me time with the customers to do, do the entrees. I think I got that right. Okay, here comes chilli. Oil, meat, green peppers, corn and onions. That's the chilli on its way. And meatloaf. Meatloaf with sauce, no bacon. Hmm. I'm not sure I like meatloaf without bacon. Okay. As everything is currently under control. I have plenty of sides. I'm still waiting for the meatloaf to cook. Ah, good old chicken. Always enjoy thumping a bit of chicken. My customers have a patience of currently about 65 and a half seconds, which is kind of nice. Oh, I've got a rush hour coming up. Didn't realise the day had got on that long yet. Well, I've still got plenty of food and plenty of sides. Now they are starting to get a bit old, some of these sides. He's good, number four, number five, number six, and number seven, and that's me out of meatloaf. Uh, let's go back to number five and do the chore. One, two, three, and four out of the way. And that's me out of lasagna. P-S-C-R, P-S-C-R, P-S-C. Okay. Pour a beer and deal with the bug. Um, okay, what can I cook? Let's try it. Okay, one, three, and four are good. Let's do number five. Number six. And number eight. What by number one? And all my sides have expired. Three, number four I can get rid of, number five done, number six is good, oh, this is number seven, and I can get number two started. Number eight's cooked, and I can do the beer at number three. And number one, number four, struth. I really didn't need all the chores. Two's done, number seven is the next chore. Right. Number four's good. Steak, three shoestring fries.
Okay, I need some more chili. Two, three, and four cooked. Yeah, come on, load more chores. I got a rush hour coming up. And I'm about to run out of some stuff, I think, before the rush hour happens. Oh, and I've got a beer to pour. No, I didn't actually run out of any foods before the rush hour started. Five, six, and seven are good. Number eight can go next. Cheesecake, beet cream, and key lime. And my meatloaf just expired. Okay, number one's good. Number four's good. Number three is that. I'll do a chore. Number five and number six. And now I'm out of lasagna. Six. Now I'm out of chili. And just like that, I'm out of meatloaf again. Well, I can do a beer. And number one. I'm definitely going mad on the chores again. Completely out of sight, but it's too late in the day to really worry about that anymore. And a nice, perfect day at ET shift number eight with a very pretty gold medal. And I've unlocked Sanfan 1922 art. Or art places, if you prefer the full full title. And pineapple juice has been added to my pantry. Which would be useful if I was running my own restaurant rather than working at anybody else's. So that was shift number eight in ETs, I believe. Oh, so as it's my norm, I will now go read the emails. NAHPS lot 5299, Goodman's Trumpet. This trumpet was played by legendary jazz musician Duke Goodman during the Jazz Aid fundraising initiative. In the aftermath of the Blue War, which saw Louisiana in ruin, a number of surviving jazz musicians from the region held a charity concert to raise money for locals. Goodman's performance received particular praise thanks to his acid, bebop, hard bop, post bop style. Okay, that's a style, is it? There again, I'm not a jazz fan, so it could be a style for all I know. Message from the future. F uh, future? Message from the future, even. Cat uprising. At exactly 5.38pm next week, Monday, a new newly born litter of cats will become self-aware in Oakland. This particular litter will grow up to learn the value of human life, which it turns out is very little. I can't disagree with that one. I need you to get over to Oakland, find them, and prevent them from ever gaining consciousness. You should be able to track them down by their owner's name, Supreme Mother Wanda, known in your time simply as Wanda Filk. I've done thorough research and speculation, and I believe that their cognizance can be averted if you distract them with a piece of string at the aforementioned time. In Wanda we trust. Glaxel Miller. Okay, that's weird. And Haiku 241. 
Knives are for cutting with a back and forth motion. Please stop stabbing me. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, so as I said, that was shift number eight at ET, so I know currently more shifts available at ET's. I can go back and try shift number eight at Big's Burger, which is going to be insane. Not as quite as insane as shift number nine will be, but insane enough, well, I can go to Chili Bowl where I can fail to do shaved ice again. So I'll probably go back to Big's Burger and have an insanely crazy time trying to keep up with 80% buzz and 10 serving stations. But that's for the future. And the future hasn't happened yet, so we don't know what it will hold. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more shifts of Chef for Hire in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. I almost forgot the name of the game then. Cheerio!